dear students under the topic partial differential equations of first order here we have a very important topic that is compatible systems of first order equations the necessary and sufficient condition for the partial differential equations that is a partial differential equation f with respect respect to the variables x y z p and q and g with respect to x y z p and q equal to 0 for these two partial differential equations the necessary and sufficient condition to be compatible is the jacobian of f and g with respect to x and p plus p multiplied with the jacobian of f and g with respect to z and p plus the jacobian of f and g with respect to y and q plus q multiplied with the jacobian of f and g with respect to z and q is equal to 0. So if we prove this compatibility condition, we can show that the given equations are compatible. So now let us solve a problem on this. Now here we have a problem which says that show that the following partial differential equations xy minus yq equal to x and x squared p plus q equal to x z are compatible and hence find their solution. To solve this problem, first of all we have to write this partial differential equations in this form that is in these two forms. So we have to write it as equations uh, to, uh, in which the right hand sides we have to take it as 0. So let us rewrite these two equations now. So the first equation can be rewritten as and this equation has to be taken as the function f. So f is equal to xy minus yq and bringing this x to the left it becomes minus x and it becomes an equation which is equal to 0 and let us mark this as equation 1 and the second equation can be rewritten as it has to be taken as g which can be rewritten as taking this x is it to the left we get x squared p plus q is equal to x is it equal to 0. Now these two have become simultaneous equations with respect to p and q. So now let us solve this further. And another thing is in the question this is p actually x p minus y q by mistake I have taken it as y so kindly make this correction x p minus y q is equal to x. So here also we will be having it as x p so this will be p okay okay now in order to show that these two are compatible we have to uh, find all the Jacobians separately and substitute in this compatibility condition and we must prove that it is equal to 0 so let us do that now so now in order to prove this compatibility condition we have to evaluate separately all these that is we have to take f and g separately and we have to evaluate dou f by dou x, dou f by dou z, dou f by dou y, dou f by dou p and dou f by dou q and similarly g with respect to all this. So let us do that now first. What is dou f by dou x? It is a partial differentiation of f with respect to x. So this is our f. So if we differentiate this partially with respect to x, so xp will be differentiated where p will be treated as constant differentiation of x is 1 and so it will be p and here this whole term becomes 0 because y and q will be treated as constant and then minus the, the difference the partial, uh, differentiation of x is 1. So dou f by dou x is p minus 1. In a similar way we have to find dou f by dou z which is partial differentiation of this with respect to z. And since we do not have any z over here, this becomes 0. So next we have to do dou f by dou y. So partially we have to differentiate with respect to y. So this term becomes 0. And here we have a y. So it will be minus q because the differentiation of y is 1. And here again this becomes 0. The next is dou f by dou p. 
So we have to partially differentiate this with respect to p. We don't have p in these two terms, so this complete uh, terms, these two terms become zero. So here alone we have p. The differentiation of p is one, so x will come as it is. So here it is x. Next we have the partial differentiation of f with respect to q, for which we have to differentiate this with respect to q. So these two terms become zero. And the differentiation of q becomes 1. So it will be minus y. So this will be minus y. Now after completing this, we have to move on to g. So partially we have to differentiate g with respect to x. And so it will become, here it will be 2xp. And this becomes 0. So minus. And the differentiation of x is z. So uh, differentiation of x is 1. So z comes as it is. Next we have dou g by dou z. So with respect to z we have to differentiate. So these two terms become 0 and we get minus x. The next is dou g by dou y. So with respect to y we have to differentiate. But we do not find any y over here. And so this becomes 0. So next is dou g by dou p. So we have to differentiate with respect to p. So these two terms become 0 and here we get x square. And the next we have dou g by dou q. So this we have to differentiate with respect to q. So these two terms become 0 and here the differentiation of q is 1. So next we have to find each Jacobian separately. The first Jacobian that we have is dou f, g with respect to x, p which is the determinant of dou f by dou x and then dou f by dou p and here we have dou g by dou x and dou g by dou p so we shall substitute all these that we have found and let us evaluate this in a similar way the J these jacobians should also be evaluated so i have written the jacobian formula for all these Next, we shall proceed to find each one separately. So, first one is dou f g by dou x comma p for which the Jacobian is this. Let us substitute each one separately here. What is dou f by dou x? It is p minus 1. We have found here. It is p minus 1. So, let us substitute that here. So, p minus 1. Dou f by dou p. So, here we have dou f by dou p which is x. So, x here. Then dou g by dou x. So, dou g by dou x is 2xp minus z. So, let us substitute that. 2xp minus z. And dou g by dou p which is x square. Now, we have to find the determinant of this value. Which is equal to p minus 1 multiplied with x square minus 2xp minus z multiplied with x. So this can be further simplified. So it becomes px square minus x square then minus 2x squared p minus into minus plus zx which further simplifies as so if we see we can simplify these two terms so we will write this uh, x, zx as x is z and these two simplifies as minus x squared p and then minus x squared. So this is the Jacobian uh, of f comma g with respect to x comma p. In a similar way we have to find the remaining Jacobians. So after taking and substituting the remaining that is the second one these values over here we get this determinant which will be equal to so this is 0 minus of minus becomes plus and these two is x squared and so the value of this Jacobian is x squared the next Jacobian will be this determinant which will be equal to so minus q multiplied with 1 so minus q and this is 0 anyway so this is equal to minus q and the next Jacobian will be equal to this determinant which is 0 minus minus of minus is plus so 0 minus xy and so this is minus xy 
and so we have evaluated each jacobian separately now let us substitute all these jacobian in the compatibility condition left hand side of the compatibility condition and let us see whether it is equal to 0 so i have taken and written the compatibility condition here let us consider the left hand side of this condition and let us see whether it is equal to 0 so the first one is do f comma g of uh, do x comma p and what is that we have evaluated we have evaluated that to be x z minus x squared p minus x square so let us substitute this and i have taken and substituted that here plus p multiplied with so plus p multiplied with do f comma g with respect to z comma p so this one what is that that we have evaluated as x square so let us substitute that so x square plus do f comma g with respect to y comma q and that we have evaluated as negative q so that is minus q so we will substitute that so minus q plus q multiplied with uh, do f comma g with respect to z comma q that is the last one that we have obtained to be minus x y so we will substitute that here so minus x y now let us simplify this so this will be x z minus x squared p minus x squared and when we multiply this it becomes plus x squared p and then minus q minus x uh, y q and that is equal to now if we see x squared p negative x squared p and plus x squared p gets cancelled and this x z we will write as it is this negative q also we will write as it is now in these two we will we can take x as common so we will we will take a negative x as common and in the bracket we will be getting here we will be having q y and here we are left out with one x so plus x now this q y plus x can be rewritten by using equation one what is equation one here we have that is x p minus y q minus x equal to zero now this equation we can rewrite as we will take and we will write it as x p okay mine uh, to be equal to taking these two terms on the right it becomes y q plus x so if we see y q plus x can be replaced as x p so here this y q plus x can be replaced as x p and so this becomes x z minus q minus x multiplied with x p and finally this turns out to be x z minus q minus x squared p so if we observe this we, we see that it is uh, we can consider equation 2 for this so let us see that now so if we consider this equation 2 where this will be actually this is negative by mistake i have put an equality sign so kindly change it so in this we can rewrite it as that is if we multiply throughout by a negative sign this g becomes uh, this becomes positive so it becomes x z and this ter two terms again becomes negative so minus q minus x squared p is equal to 0 so equation 2 can be rewritten like this and we observe that x z minus q minus x squared p is 0 so we can replace this term that we have in our uh, simplification as 0 so here x z minus q minus x squared p can be replaced as 0 and hence we have proved that the compatibility condition is true that is we have proved this equation we took the left hand side we simplified it and we observed it to be equal to 0 therefore the given system of partial differential equations f and q are compatible so in this question we have proved the first part that is we have proved that these two given equations are compatible now uh, we have another question for this that is we have to they are asking us to find their solution that is we have to find the solution of these two partial differential equations which i will be doing it in my next video so kindly follow the next video for the remaining part of this problem thank you